Hola amigos, feliz viernes. Hoy es viernes. Yo soy Rory. Estoy contento de estar aquí contigo. We just finished up our master class and then we had registration for our 10-week Mastering Medical Spanish course. That's underway now. We've got our first live lesson, excuse me, our first lesson one opens up next week and then live lesson the following week. It, it, we are settled in for the fall. Our kids are back to school, sent one kid off to California for college. And man, I hope your fall is going well. In fact, I think today is the first official day of fall. But <clears throat> I wanted to touch on this topic, Neuroexam in Spanish. After our master class completed, we sent out a note to everyone who was a part of it and said, hey, you know, what kinds of topics would you like to hear or learn about this coming fall in our Video Viernes series? And one of them was El Examen Neurológico. So thank you, Kay. Appreciate the suggestion. And this is one that I've been thinking about for a while. I thought, you know what? I'm a little uncomfortable with it. I don't know it 100%. And so I thought, you know what? I just got to get past my block and do it. So thanks, Kay. You pushed me over the edge here, and we're doing El Examen Neurológico en Español Ahora. All right, so when we talk about physical exams, there's a una estructura básica that uh, I like to remind you of. First of all, just informing your patient what you're going to do, and then giving them whatever it is, the command or instruction or that you need them to do. So la estructura básica informarle. And luego darle una instrucción. So to informarle, we can use a simple structure like voy a, I'm going to, or necesito, I need to. And then a simple instrucción like el mandato usted, the command tense for usted. And then el mandato tú, the command for tú. We're going to see both in esta lección. The um, mandatos usted are going to be just regular. Mandatos two are going to be in parentheses. Everything related to two is going to be in parentheses during this lesson. And if you're uncertain about how to form commands, I'll be sure in the description area and on the blog post to have links off to other lessons where uh, I've taught how to give usted commands and how to give two commands. All right. Bien. So una estructura básica. Let's start with informarle. So using voy a or necesito, I'm going to or I need to, some basic things you might tell your patient you're going to do. I guess not all of these would be a part of the examen neurologico, but most of them are, or some of them are at least. Checar, to check. Uh, chequear, another synonym of checar. So these are two good words. Yes, they're broad from English, but it's to check. Okay. Escucharle, listen to your whatever. Examinarle, examine your whatever, fill in the blank with body part. Mirarle, whatever, look at your this, that, or the other. Palparle, palpate, okay? So it's like tocarle, touch, but it's palparle. Revisar, another, yet another word for checking, revisar, okay? Eh, tocarle, touch your whatever it might be. Okay, so these are some basics. You can probably uh, think of other verbos ahí. If you're not sure how to say them in Spanish, put them in the comment section. We'll help you with them. Instrucciones. So giving some basic instructions. We've got mandatos usted and mandatos tú. So let's start with mandatos usted. Uh, no se mueva. Don't move. Pase saliva. Like swallow. Respire profundo. Yeah. Uh, respire normal. Breathe deeply. Siga mi dedo con los ojos. Follow my finger with... Uh, your eyes. And then we take these mandatos, put them in la forma too. We've now got no te muevas. Pasa saliva. Respira profundo. Respira normal. And sigue mi dedo con los ojos. Again, if you're uncertain how to form usted in two commands, just look down on the lesson here or make sure you're on the blog post. Look down and you'll see links off to the other command lessons so you can, you can uh, review those and apply them. All right, bien. Now, uh, el examen neurológico has a handful of like categories of things you're checking for, right? So let's get started with mental status. Now, uh, if you haven't, time out, pause. If you haven't printed out these notes yet, make sure you're on the blog, get the notes downloaded, get them printed out because some of these are going to be small. So you're going to want to be able to see them up close. Okay. You may not be able to see them perfectly on, especially on your phone, if you're watching this on your phone. Okay. Bien. So first of all, información. 
Voy a hacerle o hacerte, I'm going to do on you, or voy a hacerle, I'm going to, or hacerte algunas preguntas. I'm going to ask you some questions. Favor de responder lo más completo posible. Please respond as completely as possible. So some preguntas, mental status questions. ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cómo te llamas? El nombre completo, por favor. What's your name? Uh, full name, please. Again, ¿cómo te llamas? That's for two. ¿Dónde estamos? Where are we? ¿Cuál es la fecha del día de hoy? What is today's date? Cuente o cuenta en orden inverso empezando con 100. So count backwards from 100. If you're a really mean person, you might say, cuente por tres or por siete en orden inverso empezando con 100. So count by threes or count by sevens. Uh, okay, dígame o dime los meses del año en orden inverso empezando con diciembre. Same kind of thing, but now it's with months. So tell me the months in reverse order, starting with December. Recuerde o recuerda estas tres palabras. Remember these three words. Chile, mesa, billete. <clears throat> so we'll come back to them, right? Uh, repita o repite lo que digo. Repeat, repeat what I say. Uh, yo fui al supermercado en autobús para comprar alimentos. I went to the supermarket in a bus to buy food. Okay. ¿Qué comió? Or, ¿qué comiste esta mañana? What did you eat this morning? And then looping back to those remembering words. ¿Cuáles son esas tres palabras que le or te dije que recordara? Or, que recordaras? What are those three words I told you to remember again? Yeah. Okay, muy bien. What were they? Do you remember them? Chile, mesa, billete. All right, muy bien. All right, so estado mental. You may have some other questions you'd like to ask for mental status. Go ahead and put them in the comment section. We'll help you with them. Nervios. Craniales. Okay, so the cranial nerve uh, sort of tests and checks. Uh, cierre los ojos, por favor. Close your eyes, please. Voy a taparle una ventana de la nariz o una fosa nasal. I'm going to plug one of, your, uh, one of your nostrils, and then you may have something to smell. Que huele. Que huele. What do you smell? Okay. Cubra o tape un ojo. Cover an eye. Favor de leer el gráfico, please read that chart y decirme las letras and tell me the letters. Siga hasta que no pueda más. So keep going until you can't anymore. Okay? Again, if we would do it with a two form, it's not siga, it's sigue hasta que no puedas más. Okay? Míreme, look at my eyes, míreme a los ojos, por favor. <clears throat> and then, ¿en cuál lado está moviendo mi dedo? Yeah? What side is my finger moving on? Okay. Mire or mira un punto específico en la pared detrás de mí. So you can then do your exam, right? Siga o sigue mi dedo con los ojos. Follow my finger with your eyes, but no mueva la cabeza. Don't move your head or no muevas la cabeza for two. Puede or puedes sentir esto? Can you feel this? Siente igual en este lado o diferente? Does it feel the same on this side or different? Okay. Abra la boca. Open your mouth. Cierre la boca. Close your mouth. Apriete los dientes un momento. So that's like saying clench your teeth. Apriete los dientes un momento. Again, if we're talking to a child, it'd be abre la boca, cierra la boca, aprieta uh, los dientes. Okay, bien. Sonría, smile. Infle or hinche las mejillas así. Así, that's underlined. It's a really good word for you to know because you may not remember all the right verbs and action words and things like that, but you can demonstrate what you want them to do, right? And so just use así. Um, <clears throat> you know, just the quick, do like this. Haga así. Do like this. Or mueva la el brazo así. And because you don't know how to say in a circle for whatever reason, okay? Uh, bien. So, infle, hinche las mejillas así. So, puff out your cheeks like this. ¿Puede o puedes escuchar mis dedos? Can you hear my fingers? ¿En cuál lado los escucha? On what side do you hear them? Encójase o encógete de hombros, por favor. Shrug your shoulders, please. Okay. Empuje contra mi mano con la cabeza. Yeah. 
empuje contra mi mano con la cabeza. All right? Uh, now, gire la cara contra mi mano. Twist your face against my hand. Okay? All right. Muy bien. Okay. Nervios craneales. Again, there may be more. Go ahead and put your comments down and we'll help you with them. Okay? Examen neuromotriz. So, like motor, motor skills. Okay? Voy a checarle o checarte la fuerza y los movimientos. I'm going to check your strength and movements. Relájese. Relax. Relaje whatever part of the body. Okay? Resista la presión que aplico, or resiste if you're talking to a child. So resist the pressure that I'm applying. No me permita, or no me permitas, mover, don't let me move, whatever parte del, del cuerpo that you're talking about, okay? Apriete, o aprieta mis dedos, squeeze my fingers, all right? Muy bien. <clears throat> Jale, or jala contra, pull against... Um, maybe mi mano or whatever it is, see? Empuje contra, push against whatever it might be. Extienda o extiende whatever parte del cuerpo. Maybe it's la pierna, extend, okay? Levante, levante la mano, okay? Levante la mano. Bien, los reflejos, reflexes. <clears throat> voy a checarle los reflejos. So we're informing, right? Or voy a checarte los reflejos. ¿Me permite o me permites el brazo, por favor? Uh, me permite, it's kind of a nice way of saying, would you allow me your arm, uh, give me your arm, you know, that kind of thing. Siéntese or siéntate aquí al final de la mesa, por favor. Sit here at the end of the table, please. Eh, muévase, scoot un poquito más hacia adelante, scoot forward a little, o más atrás, hacia atrás, so scoot back a little, okay? Voy a darle o darte unos golpecitos, I'm going to give you some taps, okay, unos golpecitos, and whatever, la rodilla, or whatever parte del cuerpo might be. La sensación, so sensation, feeling. Voy a checar la sensación en whatever parte, en el pie, in, on your foot, let's say. Cierre los ojos, por favor. Close your eyes, please. Dígame cuando siente o sientes algo. Tell me when you feel something. Siente igual o diferente en este lado. Does it feel the same or different on this side? Siente o sientes algo en este momento. Do you feel anything at this, at this moment? ¿Cómo es la sensación? What's it feel like? ¿En qué dirección estoy moviendo parte del cuerpo? Of course, this only works if their eyes are still closed, right? So, what, what direction am I moving your hand in, for example? Para arriba o para abajo? So, up or down, okay? Levántese, get up, y párese con los pies juntos, and stand with your feet together. Ahora cierre los ojos. Now, close your eyes, y mantenga el, y, y manténgase parado, and stay standing, okay? Checking for balance. Coordinación y marcha. So, coordination and gait. Marcha is a good word for gait in Spanish. Okay, con un dedo, toque mi dedo y luego toque su nariz. All right, so with one finger, touch my finger and your nose. Repita rápido, por favor. Okay, all right, muy bien. Corre el talón para abajo y luego para arriba en la espinilla de la otra pierna. Okay, so we're saying, take your heel of one foot and run it down and up your shin on your other leg. Okay? Muy bien. I'm not flexible enough to show you my leg or I was or just do it on the arm, but don't be confused. Okay. Abra or abre la mano y póngala en su pierna. So open your hand and put it on your leg. Okay? <clears throat> Dele vuelta a la mano rápido una y otra vez. So flip your hands over, back and forth, over and over again. Yeah? All right. Camine o camina en los talones. So walk on your heels. Camine o camina de puntitas. Walk on your toes. Okay? Acuclíese o acuclíate. Squat down. Camine o camina de talón al dedo de pie. Así. Here we go with that así again, right? Uh, like this. So walk heel to toe like this. Okay? Bien. Los signos meningeos. Okay, bien. Uh, just a couple here. So, voy a examinarle o examinarte el cuello. Doble o dobla la cabeza hacia abajo. So, bend your, bend your head forward, please. 
and then extienda or extiende el cuello and then extend your neck. Okay, that's basically it. Now, para conversar con su compañero, some practice scenarios. Maybe you have some typical patients you work with all the time that you could use uh, practice doing the physical exam on, excuse me, the neuro exam on. But if not, here are some possible scenarios that uh, you might want to do a neuro exam on. Okay, bien. Juan tiene 65 años. Juan is 65. Hace seis meses que tiene mucha rigidez muscular. So for six months now, he's had a lot of uh, stiffness in his muscles. Y una voz muy débil and a really low voice. Uh, su familia dice que casi no lo escuchan en conversaciones regulares. His family tells him that they uh, almost can't even understand him or hear him in regular conversations. All right, might need a neuro exam. Paciente 2. Jimena tiene 25 años, so Jimena is 25. Tuvo un accidente de automóvil la semana pasada y estuvo en una coma durante, en un coma durante cinco días. And she was in a coma for five days after a car accident. Se despertó de la coma hace dos días. So two days ago, she woke up from her coma y parece bien a nivel cognitivo. She seems okay cognitively, pero hay que evaluar su estado físico y neurológico. But now we need to evaluate her, um, her physical and, and neuro uh, state. So, paciente 3 now is Ricardo. Él tiene 35 años y pegó cabeza, pegó la cabeza jugando fútbol el domingo pasado. So, he hit his head playing soccer last Sunday. Sigue con dolor de cabeza y dice que su visión ha cambiado. So, he still has a headache and he feels like his vision maybe has changed. All right, so those are tres posibilidades to give you some context for a neuro exam. Preguntas. If you've got questions, post them in the comment section below. We'll be sure to answer them for you. If you need a conversation partner because you don't have one, head over to the Learning Medical Spanish Facebook group. Put yourself out there and say, hey, I'm doing video VRNAs. I need a conversation partner. Anyone want to, uh, you know, have practice with me over Zoom or Facebook or, you know, whatever. All right. Muy bien, amigos. Gracias por aprender español conmigo. Juntos. Mejoramos comunidades para más español. Head over to commongroundinternational.com. Make sure you get over to the website. All sorts of free lessons and things. And if you want to take un examen médico, uh, terminología médica, head over to certifiedspanish.com and you can create your free account, take as many free exams as you would like. Hey, if you learned something today, make sure you subscribe to our channel, like this video. Uh, that's how we keep this going and continue giving uh, more and more lessons. Thanks for joining me today. Nos vemos la próxima semana, amigos. Ciao.